know about Tampa Bay and the shark situation, so. This is scary, because the first <laughs> We need some, like, steps on here. So here's the current transom of Satori. We have uh, the boarding ladder here, and one final step. The project here is to build a fold down boarding platform so we have some more space here. So what I've done is I've built a, uh, a model template out of PVC. I've gone through a couple different versions. This right here is what I've come up with. And so the idea is that this will be mounted near the bottom of the transom like so and then it will fold up so when we're actually sailing in, in between anchorages it'll fold up like this. So the ladder, again out of PVC, has been shortened. That will mount here and then also flip up. And then to give the davits a little extra strength and for a mounting point for our cables which hold up the platform, I've mocked up some braces out of PVC which will sit up in the corner and attach to the davits for a little extra strength. What to bring on the boat? We all know the limited space that I have. Too much I want to bring. I've got all these shoes dresses, bags, more clothes, more shoes. Got it. Some big decisions to make. After three clean outs, this is what I have left. It's a lot of clothes. <laughs> So you're moving on to the boat. Yes, I'm moving on to the boat. And I've given you <laughs> some space for your clothes and 10 pairs of shoes, including flip-flops. Now, see, I think that's negotiable because <laughs> there's no way. As of now, I had these three baskets for clothes and then I have, let's see, I have one drawer down here, pretty decent size, and then a couple of shelves in there. Sort of half a shelf, maybe? Yeah. One shelf and a half a weird A weird cubby hole. Against the hole. A weird nook and cranny. So, and then here, we're gonna hang up a rack where I can put stuff that hangs. So that's it. <laughs> There is a closet, though. Oh, yeah. There is a closet. However, it has boat smell, so <laughs> I don't know. So I just started to unload the stuff I brought. What about, what about under here, under your clothes here? You have, there's a spot there. There's a little cubby hole. Yeah, but to me, that cubby hole is weird because the bathroom is that the one that the bathroom is connected to? Yeah, so if anything yeah, goes wrong with it's the, the pipe, the, the from the, the toilet. toilet, hell no, I'm not putting anything in there. Can't do it. Can we put your shoes in there? No, are you serious? No way. Well, we need to find a solution for your shoes, shoes where to store them. Well, there's the shoe locker on your side. Oh, but my shoes are in that locker. <laughs> we could share, you know. <laughs> you knew this when you met me. That <laughs> and my purse is like, what the hell? Where am I going to put those? We could put your shoes inside <laughs> the purses and then store them in the cubby hole there. No. And my, my then shoes. your shoes are protected. No. No. 
Deep Earth should totally be in my closet. Like that would be perfect. What what think, happens when we have guests? Well, and, I was gonna say like when we have guests, I think those couches are really comfortable. Although I don't know why, even if my shoes and purses were in there, that somebody still couldn't sleep in there. Do you trust my friends to sleep in the same room as your fancy purses and shoes? Yes, they're all good. <laughs> even Dan Bush? Especially Dan Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. He's not going to play with my shoes. He might wear them. <laughs> <laughs> this is my side. This is what I get. Pretty much the same as her. We each have three baskets on the side of the bed. And then I have that shelf. And then one drawer. Under the bed as well. So we're half and half. But I do have a feeling that <laughs> I have, we share the same amount of space for clothes, but I think she is, or will have twice the amount of clothes. <laughs> so I'm going to invade your space, is that what you're saying? Yeah. I have three swimsuits, two of them are Speedos. And I have clearly more than that. This is my swimsuit basket. Hmm. And I have a whole thing. Well, let's be honest. You'll be wearing swimsuits 50% of the time. Yeah. So it's a good thing to have a lot of. Yeah. Look at this old-fashioned one. I love it. Looks like granny panties. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It's mm -hmm. like 1950. I have to see it on you. Oh, it's really cute. You'll like it. The Adventures of King Arthur. Look as King Arthur tells his servant he needs to go for a walk. His servant hands him down to the dock, cause King Arthur's too important to jump himself. As he walks down the dock, he gets spooked by some unknown object. Dingy, perhaps? Hmm, Arthur's not about to find out. As he waits at the gate, he doesn't know that his arch-rival is around the corner. As he turns the corner, he sees and locks eyes with his number one frenemy. The moment is tense. Smells are exchanged. Tails are wagging in fierce rivalry. Hmm. Or King Arthur must decide what to do. Challenge his arch frenemy? Or move on? Mm, that's right. King Arthur has more important things to do. Hmm. He will live to fight another day. Bye, baby. Bye. Gotta go to work. Worth the effort? Yeah. It's a form of you know. Yeah, I know. I love you. Bye, baby. Bye. Exciting news today. Uh, my welding has been completed for the uh, platform. Excited to get this thing on and uh, give it a try before our big trip to uh, the Dry Tortugas. And so I'm going to run over there and uh, pick it up.
we have here is the, the template I made and then the final product made out of uh, one inch stainless steel tubing. That's the platform piece. It's beautiful. The ladder template next to the final product for the actual ladder. And then one of the davit braces, one for each side. And this is where the cable will attach to go from that point to the midpoint of the platform. Hey guys, thanks for watching our first episode of Sailing Satori. Next time, we bring Arthur on board, finish the swim platform, and take it out for a test while sailing. See, I told you this 50 swimsuit was cute. If you enjoyed our first episode, please hit like below and subscribe. Por favor! A special thanks to all of our patrons. This channel is made possible by viewers like you. Go to sailingsatori.life to see how you can help.